Lest you catch me in an in a different tuning. I'm tuning my guitar now back where it was. Actually, uh, see, I was down a whole step, which is really loose. So D, uh, let's see, go, there we go, D, wow, there we go, D, G, C, F, A, D. Now, I wouldn't call this an alternate tuning, uh, but, instead of, but it's just everything's down a whole step. Actually, uh, the, the this is how Paul McCartney tuned basically to play yesterday. Basically, I think he actually played the cheater F sharp minor seven chord that I like to do. But it was so funny because for years I taught that as being an F, and it is an F, but it, I taught it playing an F chord and an E minor seven. I didn't know he dropped down a whole step. So it must have been one of those things where he uh, just couldn't sing the song in range, so he lowered the guitar. Easier than tuning a piano down a whole step. What if they make a left-handed piano where the, the bass keys are over here and the treble keys are over there? Somebody's Google searching that right now. I got my cup of coffee there. Read. We're going to keep working the uh, Travis pattern today. I may have you hold a pick in your hand while we do this. <laughs> If you've already got this down, um, I can get more light in here. I'm trying to keep the sun out because it was so, so warm today again. Um, hey, Max, Dennis, Ed, Kimberly, DK, Kathy, Bob, Diane, Pepper. Let's see. Uh, well, we got 23 already. We got all the looks like all the almost everybody's here. I don't see Verdi. Is Verdi here? And also AJ. Is AJ here? Let me uh, scroll up. There's Hook. There's Reed. Peter. Hey, Peter. How's it going? Paul Becker is here. Hey, Paul Becker. Good to see you, buddy. I miss you, man. Paul, you're up north, right? And that you kind of went back up to where you were originally from, if, I be, if I'm correct. Northern, uh, Central Northern California. My daughter is in uh, Arkansas. See, she's in Joplin, Missouri is where she lives, but she's at a friend's uh, lake house in like northern Arkansas. It's pretty amazing out there. I've never, you know, the, the it's not Lake of the Ozarks. That's north of her. It's, it's, uh, but it is Ozark um, Park or Ozark National Forest or whatever. It's gorgeous there. I mean, ultimately, ultimately I would love to live on a lake, but that won't happen in California. There's very few lakes. And most of the ones I want that you can live on, like Big Bear and Arrowhead, they're up in the mountains. Don't know if I want that. It's a different kind of thing. 
so we um, we've been doing. Um, oh, also, I, I may or may not do a live stream on Tuesday. If I do a live stream on Tuesday, it will only be an hour long. I have uh, we have we're going to film two uh, two services worth of um, worship sets on Tuesday. And that could be a long day. And I don't, last time we did that, it <laughs> was just after the lockdown. And hey, David's here. It's been a while. Okay, well, you can you can uh, watch the, the neurology webinar at the same time. <laughs> we I can just do a neurology webinar right now if you want. That way you don't have to watch that one. We can just talk about that. Um, so... <laughs> This is Tom's brain. This is Tom's brain on coffee. Hey, I referred to myself in the third person. Boom. Take a sip. Gary is not here yet. I don't see AJ's here. Good. Uh, Gary's not here yet. Uh, Keith is here. Bruce is here. Um, Gary is our, uh, keeps track of all the um, command sips. <laughs> Tom command sips, as he named them. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, I got permission from Pepper to take a day off if I want. Uh, this is day 40. 40 days and 40 nights. 40. That's a that's a long, that's a lot of days in a row. I mean, I work anyway. I pretty much have to, I, I just don't remember to take days off oftentimes. Um, and I need to do that more. But I just, you know, it's so easy for me to just get in the studio and start working. Um but the uh, uh, the the what happened when when we did that the we were going to film two services and I wasn't feeling good but I I kind of was I didn't have a fever and I didn't think I had COVID so I didn't have a fever or anything I just was like kind of worn down because the previous three days and nights I hadn't been eating very very much and hadn't been sleeping very much just stressed out about the whole thing I guess I don't know I'm not now. Um, I guess once we got into the swing of things, it got a little bit easier, but, um, I, uh, got, Oh boy, I'll tell you about halfway through that set and we did it once and we recorded it, and then they said, okay, let's do it again. I'm like, we just did it. It's perfect. It was fine, but they want to do it again. So, okay. So we did it again about halfway through that second time. I was like, I could barely stand up. And so at the end of the second run through and we filmed it, both of them, um, I said, I don't think I can do another one. And they said, why not? And I said, I'm not feeling well. And they freaked out. Everybody ran from me. It was hilarious. Like, no, seriously, I don't have the COVID. I'm just like exhausted. And uh, we, I'd been standing there for like an hour, two, well, it was about two and a half hours at that point. And I was already depleted. Hey, William. Uh, William saying, I just wanted to say thank you for doing this. Everything going in the, on in the world, it's nice to to learn a little while I'm stuck at home. Yeah, I hope so. I hope we're learning some stuff here. Thank you, Reed. Um, yeah, so it was it was a bummer. Then I couldn't, they wouldn't let me do any more services for like the next month. <laughs> and I was like, I'm literally taking my temperature every day and it's like 97, you know, I'm like negative. Uh, and I'm like, no, I already had it. I had it like before I knew what it was, I'm pretty sure. They've determined that a lot of Californians have already had it. Like a huge, like 440,000, like 400,000 more than they think had it, have already had it. Um, and that's just from some basic testing. So, um, so let's see, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm fasting work. I need to, I need to do that. So, um, uh, thank you, Pepper. Um, the, uh, so what, what I want to do and today I am going to, um, and, and I will, let's see, I, uh, Hey, Kathy, if I just upload those um, PDFs right to the homework chat on Discord, will it um, I'll do what you did? Because I saw you had to move those. And I hate making work for you. I really do. Um, but uh, if I do that, if I upload them to where you placed them, will it just show up like that? Will it show up like a link or will it show up as a PDF and then you have to generate the link? Or is there something I can do? Uh, because I hate to do. Yeah. So I, I hate to do the, um, hate to have you do, you know, work that I can easily do. 
Um, so I think I have to look though and see where we are. Oh, I, I know I, I got the folder here. I can look and see where, um, what the last finger picking lesson was. Okay. All right. It was that. So, so this was the last one I uploaded. Uh, and so, oops, sorry. Here, let me click on this. Okay. So this was the last one I uploaded to the discord. You can find this PD, a PDF of this. I scanned it um, and uh, uploaded it to the Discord. So then, and so this was the base code. We're going to do some more of this. We're going to kind of do this some more. Just I want to bring in the the second finger is going to play the C note at the same time. And then what? So what I think I want to do, I want to keep it simple. And this time I'm going to also write out tab. I think just for those of you who really prefer to have tab, um, but. So before I did, it's a very subtle difference, but I'm only plucking, I'm only pinching two strings. Oh, I hope this battery's not gonna die. No, it's fine. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, I'm blinded. Oh, I think I put it right here and it was even better. Will it stay here though? How did I? No, it won't stay there. I had it over here. So um, before I was plucking, uh, thumb and first finger, but I want to do on the C7 chord, uh, but I want to do thumb, first and second finger. And the reason I want to do that, for one thing, it gives us a little bit more dexterity, a little bit more skill. But then you can break them apart like this. So you could go kind of fun so that makes it fun also when we get to like the g7 chord like if we do this g7 chord we, we can move a pink the pinky around and, and give it give ourselves some uh movement on top so we start getting into that melody area let's see wait what am i doing this Now we got a little bit of melody happening. Oops. I keep wanting to play just the fifth and I mean the sixth and the fourth string with my thumb. There it is. So that's kind of where. Uh, yeah, more pinky in here, but that's not, we may not get to that. That may be a little bit further advanced, uh, but the idea is to kind of. The idea is to try to get some other, other chords. Also, the other thing I wouldn't mind touching on is trying to do the, if you, again, <laughs> we're doing, I'm, I, I'm not expecting you to have all this stuff down. I mean, it's almost like when uh, when this is over, what I'll probably do is do a weekly live stream where I just touch on things that I maybe maybe a little more advanced or I, or I just want to be kind of free form on and not have to do um, uh, you know a more organized lesson with graphics and all that stuff because it takes a while to upload and, and edit and all that stuff with the regular video. So this for this form I kind of like because I can just kind of be a teacher. And um, so uh, what I may do is continue to do one a week. And that'll be better as far as the, the practice aspect of it goes, because what I'm showing you often every day for the last 40 days is something that I would normally expect you to have a week to work on. So I, I, I feel bad that I'm showing you things. And then, and then <laughs> I don't want you to think that I'm, I'm expecting you to have them down tomorrow is basically my point. So just... You know, we're going to book, you bookmark these, you get, get one pattern down, you move on to the next one, you get the next pattern down, you move on to the next one. Again, I've been using music notation. I'm going to continue to do that. I'm going to do both tab and music um, this time. Um, but, you know, again, my, my goal, my hope is for you to at least not be afraid of the music part of it. Okay. I think my seat's about to, to die because it's wobbly. I like this chair too. I, I hate for it to. I made the mistake once of oiling. I had the same one before and I oiled it 
or WD-40 did. And then it was really squeaky. I'm like, what the heck? It's supposed to make it less squeaky because I'm trying to record acoustics. And I, if I move in my seat, then the squeak gets in the mic and I have to start over again or I have to do a new take. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, so I, I have uploaded this one. And then um, this was the one we did where we separated. And it looks so complex. And I apologize that it's me I messed up here. But um, boom, chomp, boo, da, da, boom, chomp, boo, da, da. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You can kind of see. Uh, you can see, but it's, the ties make it so confusing. But it actually does help understand the notation. So this is one, B1, B2, B3, and B4. But we just have a note that's carrying over into B3 to the and, and that's when you want that and. So I could just, I could write it a little differently. And on tab, you might see it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it, Kathy says it makes her feel better when the teacher messes up. Well, <laughs> you guys must feel awful good <laughs> all the time when you're watching me because I'm always messing up. Okay. And then there's what the G looked like. And then here's what. When I did the G7, that was when you do the G7 bar chord, that's this one here. Oops. Uh, three, three, five, three, four, three, three. That G7 chord. Okay. In music notation, it looks like this. And that's a bar chord. It's six strings, all six strings. Well, look, we have six notes. So if this note is written down here, that means you play the, the sixth string. If this note is written, then that means you play on the first string. If this note is written, it, this note is in the music, oh, you know you're going to be playing the fifth string. And this is going to be the second string and so on and so forth. I mean, I could literally write one, two, three, four, five, six right along these notes. Because even though this looks complex, it's only one chord. Nothing's changing right here. And that's one of the things you do when you look at a piece of music is you kind of look at it and go, okay, this looks complex. Oh, it's just, you know, you just start to discern. A lot of times I will mentally do this kind of thing where I actually, you don't have this on the chart. There's your, what's handed to you. And then I just kind of shove all the notes to the left and go, oh, okay, that's really just one chord. Okay, cool. I'm not going to stress. So I have to scan these two. And then this one also, this was the, this was the uh, I'm a leprechaun and I live in Indiana pattern that is, I think it's the second, I still need to listen to it. Anybody listen to it? Is it the second pattern or does he alternate on uh, dust in the wind? So this is the pattern. I'm pretty sure it's, the one, two, and three, and four end all. I think it's that. The other variation is to stop on four. So it sounds like this. And that's the I am a leprechaun. I am a leprechaun. I am a leprechaun. And then the other one is I live in Indiana, which I coined when I was living in Indiana. All my students were in Indiana. I live in Indiana. I live in Indiana. And there's really only one pinch. It's right at the beginning. You're pinching the thumb and the second finger. Okay, just to see it here with, if you can, I don't know if you can see this, but. So I'm just playing a simple C chord. Middle four strings. That's awesome, Rick, I'm so glad. Now, um, oh, question from Hook, sorry. Hook. Any recommendations on good practice chairs? Um, well, anything without arms is good. Um, you know, make it comfortable, but not too comfortable, I guess, because you don't want to get sleepy. I like a straight back. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want one that, that moves, you know, like back and forth. This one's starting to a little bit. Also, I think it's almost more important to get some kind of footrest because I feel like that that's helpful too especially when you want to do the proper classical thing and put your left foot up your left knee up high try not to generate a copyright infringement <laughs> if you like uh, pee in the wind or something instead of dust in the wind <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Oh, and Kathy, you know, what's interesting I noticed too, is that um, I think the first 24 hours, the live stream is up and being processed by YouTube. 
that is when it's limited. And so uh, the, the, the uh, advertisers are limited until they can determine. So I don't know if we need to be too vigilant but I do like that you are. It's just funny when people get mad when we take out the word darn. Well, not darn, but you know. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're trying to keep this family friendly. <laughs> Although <laughs> I've been known to throw down at Baham every now and then. Okay, so now, um, uh, so my point again, don't, don't stress. Plan to spend a week on each of these patterns. I mean, I could literally spend a seven lessons in a row, just doing the same lesson. Um, but uh, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of time on your hands. So obviously, uh, so you might be getting them down in a day and some of this may be old hat for you. Okay. But uh, I think it was, uh, um, you play at the Leprechaun way. Yeah, that's, and I, I just, I'd have to listen a little more closely. I haven't really listened that closely in a long time. Bruce has a question. So, Tom, you're using a footrest even when you're not playing classical. Yeah, I'm using it on my right leg. Not always. But you know what? Here's the thing. I will I will turn my, like in the studio, I do this all the time. I have my feet on the floor. I have my left foot here, my right foot here. And I'll turn my left foot on the side and stand on it. And I will be working and working and, and not paying attention. And the next thing I know, I'm like two hours later, my left ankle is just killing me. And I'm like, well, no kidding. You've been standing on it for the last two hours. So I, I really should, when I go to sessions, I should bring a footrest because, and I've got my chair set really high. And the reason I have my chair set high is so that I'm looking down on everything and not looking up. I pinched a nerve in my neck and didn't realize it. It was, I mean, I'm, I, I can't even remember the first time it happened. I just remember the pain um, that was radiating in my arm. Um, it felt like a knife was being driven and twisted in my shoulder blade or shoulder right here. And my hand went numb and, um, and I didn't know why. And eventually it went away. Um, and then it happened again. And I'm like, dang, what am I, what did I do? I don't, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even know it could have been, uh, and this is one of those things where David would be really expert on this, but I didn't know what caused it. I didn't know, you know, I thought I, I, cause you, I would rub on it. I would take an ibuprofen or whatever. I'd rub on it and the pain wouldn't go away. It was like, what, what did I do to my shoulder? And it turns out then the third time it happened, I went to the doctor finally and was like, okay, this is it. I can't do it. Um, uh, Cat or Pepper has a question. Let's see. I have a foot rest. It's so difficult for me to hold the clap classical style. How can I hold my guitar classical style and be comfortable? Well, I don't know. It's like women, it's diff more different for women too. Um, and one of the things, like I said, it's not, you don't, you want to lean the guitar against you. You do not want to uh, like squeeze it. And the, the classical style is basically to put your, the, the leg, the foot rest under your left foot and lift your left knee up. So you're, you're basically like this, you know, kind of get the guitar almost at a 45 degree angle. Um, and that way, it's a little bit more comfortable to your body, a little more natural rather than having it down like this. Now, some people, if you feel not, you know, there are people that you don't have to use a classical method. Uh, there are classical guitars that play like this. Um, there are most guitar players play totally flat like this. OK, it's just classical guitars do that. And I don't always if I'm playing classical guitar, if I'm getting serious, like working on a serious piece, then I probably will play like this. But even if I'm playing nylon guitar in the studio, I'll play it like this. So you don't have to. Yeah, you don't have to, but um, anyway, so so I went to the doctor, just the just my GP, and I told him what was happening. I said, I've got numbness right here, which is not good, and I've got a pain, a sharp pain right here. He goes, look at the ceiling, and I went, what? He goes, look at the ceiling. I looked up, and it, the pain went, ah, and the pain went, nah, and I went, whoa, what is that? He goes, you got a pinched nerve in your neck, <laughs> and he goes, it's either calcium deposits, uh arthritis or something. He just named three things. And then he sent me off to get x-rays. I got the x-rays. I came back for the consultant. He said, congratulations, you have all three. <laughs> so basically I have all three things. So I try not to spend too much time looking up, like, you know, doing that. Uh, Cause like you definitely can't sit in the front row at a movie theater. Um, I'm not sure how it happened. If it was a, a thing or if it's just something that naturally happened uh, physiologically. Um, but definitely if you're having pain in your arms, you, it's funny because it's like, especially it's if it's a pain you can't rub away, then it's 
it's a pinched nerve. And so I'm learning now and like my, this thumb's a little bit numb right now. Cause I must've, you know, one morning I, one night I slept with my head like that and I woke up and it was all back again. I was like, dang it. I mean, it takes a while for go for it to go mm. away because once you pinch that nerve, it, it kind of gets uh, swollen. And that's why I would take ibuprofen doesn't work for me. It, a leave really helped. Um, so I would take a leave and it would make the swelling go down. And then, um, uh, and then it was like, uh, then it, it still would take weeks, six, six to 10 weeks to go away. But not, and I would not on a leave. I wouldn't take a leave that long. But anyway, okay. Uh, uh, Rick is saying, check out the classical guitar shed videos. He uses a lap brace. Yes, you could, that's right. I've seen those. Also, I was going to have, it's funny because I have a friend, uh, Luis, Luis Conte he plays percussion for James Taylor. And he says, James Taylor loves building things. And I said, well, have him build me a footrest, like just a box. I just need a box. And he was like, okay, I'll ask him. <laughs> I never heard back. I need to go. I need to go see him sometime, but uh, that would be really cool to have a footrest made by James Taylor. I mean, seriously, it'd be really, really cool. I'd pay for it. I mean, I would like give money to his favorite charity. I don't care. Okay. Hey, no, 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 no. Oh, that's how you say that. No, 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 no. Okay. But that's who you were talking about. I was wondering if you were referring to no, 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 no. Okay. So um, here's, let's see. I'm What I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to write out this, that in tab and music notation for you right now. Oh, I should do the discord invite, right? Anybody wants to get on discord? I'm going to write that. I'm going to write it on tab so you can see see that too. But I'm, you know, again, I'm a little weary of doing the tab thing because I, I really don't want you to use it as a crutch. We all do. Um, but uh, the idea is for you to kind of understand the music notation of it. Okay. So that's a really short, that's just one bar. And it's, it's a C chord. Of course, this, this is harder to write. So C7. Here's what it looks like. Uh, three, two, three, one, zero. Boy, I don't know if the tab's going to be any easier to read. I should have, I should have gotten bigger, bigger notation. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to touch my face. My nose itches. So that's part of the drinking game. If I touch my face, everybody gets to take a sip. Cheers. I don't see Verdi anywhere. I hope Verdi's okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'm trying not to make a mistake here. Boom, blah. So when you play the second and third string on this, and I could technically put the rest in here. That's what I was playing. What? Okay. Can you see that? It's pretty hard to read the tab is, but, but basically I'm playing the C7 chord, which is this chord here. Sorry, I'll, I'll hold it up again. Okay, this is C7. Okay, that's a C7 chord. Uh, you know, a nylon string beginner. I don't know. My son bought. I, <laughs> this is my main guitar. Reed is asking what quite, uh, nylon guitar I recommend for under six fifty. Um, this is. Uh, I paid five hundred for this in the eighties, and it, it's this one's a a pretty nice one. It's you know, uh, uh, what's this mahogany uh, Brazilian Brazilian rosewood back in size, and. Um, Solid cedar top. Um, I, I'm not sure what they were, but my son found, a, this is an Asturias, and he found a used one on, on uh, 
reverb for 500 bucks and ordered it. <laughs> it's actually a really good guitar. So, um, okay, now, um, so there's, so what, what I just played, and gosh, I got to get that whole, of course, what, what's going to happen is if I get that OBS software down, then what's going to happen is I'm going to have to do all this prep work for these lessons so I can have a little, but basically I'm going, so just make your C chord, C7 chord. Oh, from Yop Bapo. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Oh, that, oh, right there. Okay, sorry. Are you using the same cup for sips every day or do you? No, I go to Starbucks every day. That's, yeah, that's not the, yeah. No, I, I go to, um, the, the grocery store has a Starbucks. So I have to wear a mask, but, which steams up my glasses. So then I walk into things. I'm going to walk into a, in, into the path of a semi-truck and die. And the, they're going to say it's a coronavirus death because I was wearing my mask and it fogged up my glasses. <laughs> I'm going to be a statistic. <laughs> yeah. So basically what I'm doing is I'm bouncing my third finger like that. And I'm playing the, with that with a thumb. And I'm also playing the fourth string. And yesterday we did the, or before we did the two fingers pinch. So now I'm grabbing three strings when I go down to the chord. Let's see if I can get this closer. How did I do this the other day? I did it just, was it yesterday I did this? Oh, maybe that's it. That looks really good, actually. Wow. That looks great. So back to the C7 chord. So in slow motion. Looks like this. And I'm getting that shortness by lifting the strings off the frets, but not lift. I'm not lifting my fingers off the strings. I'm not going, I'm not going. I'm just lifting, just squeeze a little bit to hit the chord. Is this country music? Not really. Um, I mean, a lot of, Nashville players, this is kind of, we're talking about Travis picking, and Merle Travis, I think, was from Texas. Uh, so I guess it could be kind of country western, country music. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, restringing your steel strings with nylon, you have, to, for one thing, you have to get ball and nylon strings. Nylon strings don't have balls on the end of them, so they just are strings. I mean, then you have to do the wraparound thing. Oh, I changed guitars, didn't I? So here, let me show you. Or I could change guitars, so you guys can. So that if I change guitars, you get to take another sip. Sip, okay. So this is a nylon guitar. Um, but the the technique of uh, uh, Roman asked if it, I think he's asking, is this country music or is it? A, um, it's it is potentially, but it's also a great skill to have to be able to play that. So now. That would be fun to get down. So let me write that out. You can see that. I'm wondering if I should use pencil. This pen is just a little too dangerous for one thing. <laughs> and also, uh, it's just a little too, even the number one is a little too fat. But let me see what I can do here. Boom. Down. What did I do? I went the I went to the first string first, right? I mean second string. No, I did the third string first. Good thing I, I asked. All right. So 
So it's very exciting to watch me write music out. I know this makes for great TV, but Ubuntu. Okay, this might actually look better too in some ways. Because I can join all of these together. Um, and so we have there and here. Now separating these out make it actually easier to Okay, so um, it's the second bar I just wrote out. So basically, I'm doing boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, ba do da dun, chuck, boom, chuck, da da. So it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and. Now, um, uh, oh, yeah, I got up to 40. I mean, we're doing better than yesterday. Yesterday was really slow, but Sunday, I don't know. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit like. That helps me out. Um, so the uh, this, notice when I counted that, I counted it in straight eights. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. You can hear how robotic and machine-like that sounds. One and two and. So now let me count it with, I'll put a little swing to it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two. That's kind of what you want. That's the kind of feel you want. So let's let's try to just do. We're so we're just gonna we're not gonna worry about the first bar. We're just gonna again we're gonna shorten it and just do this bar. So boom, chuck, ba da do da. I'm gonna play this slowly and count. Show you what I'm doing, um, and then maybe we'll just even loop this. Okay, like I always say, make whatever part. See, this is easy. You're like, oh, I got that, Tom. But then I get here and I mess up. Well, then make the section you mess up into an exercise and just loop the crud out of it. Do it until you can do it while you have a conversation. Do it while you can do it while you walk down the street. Do it so you can do it and have a live stream. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and start with a metronome. Oh, yeah, definitely a metronome. Have a metronome really slow um, on the quarter note. Um then you can, uh, let me find a really slow tempo though. There we go. So here's 60. I don't know if this is slow, but that's pretty slow. And the, the metronome I have uh, on my phone is called Tempo. And I think I paid, let's see, can you see that? Uh, let's see, there we go. I think I paid $5 for something, but it's cool because it you can create set lists. So if you're a drummer and you want to set off the next song or, or if you're performing live and you just want to have tempos, uh, like you're just doing an acoustic thing. Of course, nobody's doing anything right now, but you know what I mean? Um, you could do that. I think it even has tuning. Yeah, it even has tuning tones, which is kind of cool. I've uh, never used that, but that can come in handy. So I'm going to speed this up though a little bit. I'm going to go to 80 uh, because yeah, Vapo, you can even go less than 10 beats per minute. When when you're going from 60 to 70, that's a big jump. When you're going from 220 to 230, it's not that, that big of a jump. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then. Okay, now I'm going to just break it down. Here's what I'm doing. So play your C7 chord. Okay. And when I can play the E string. So you just need to get the middle four strings sounding good. Okay. Um, and hit the fifth string. And then with the thumb, grab the fourth string, and with the first finger, get the third string, and the second finger, get the second string, and go pop, like that. Let's just practice that for a minute. 
yeah, and there are lots of free metronomes too. Uh, but the one, the reason I paid money for this one is because it did. It, I could do set lists on it. Um, it has a bunch of different features. I like ones that can subdivide because I can, I can play it, and then I can subdivide it. Um, triplets. Or dotted. Crazy. So um, I've got lots of options there. Uh, and it stays on when you turn off your phone. <laughs> there we go. Okay. But there are lots of free ones too that do much of the same thing. If we want to practice, so that is the first half of the bar. And the next half of the bar is pluck, move your third finger down a string and pluck the bottom string. And then we're going to go thumb. First, thumb, second is the fingers. And you know what I like too is I like using drum beats. So I like to, instead of playing along with a metronome, I like to play with something that's a little bit more. Now I have machine, I machine, um, let's see. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. So I can turn off like keys. <laughs> so if I want to practice, well, that's a lame beat to practice with, but. But it almost is, a, it's more fun to practice with a drum beat. It's more realistic, and also uh, you're probably going to have more ideas. So, oh, that app right there. Oh, the app I'm using is called. Um, it's just called Tempo. Let's see. I can do a screenshot of it. I think. Um, let's see if I can make this bigger. Okay, so that's it right there called tempo. Dang it, it's too bright. It's hard to get the, you see that? And then the other one I'm using is um, uh, that, that one you just heard was called iMachine. Um, and that one was like 20 bucks or something. But I, I bought that one to do That, uh, to be able to write while I'm on the road. So I can have keyboards. Oh, I'm, it's muted right now, but. Um, funny. Uh, I've got this keyboard. Oh, I got that muted too. So it, it it's kind of, you know, it's, I don't know that I've ever written anything per se with it, but I, at least I, I've been able to get some grooves down, groove ideas down that I have. That's the main thing. Tempo is 259. Okay, that's not too bad. And the nice thing about that is you won't be getting ads or anything. I've never gotten an ad on tempo. So it's, it's almost worth it for me to have, you know, that. <laughs> that's why they annoy you with ads. So you'll get the, the you know, not free one. Okay, so here's what I'm doing again. Thumb, thumb and three, uh, two fingers. Move, play the bottom string with the thumb. And then first finger, thumb, second. I'll try to get the other fingers out of the picture here. Okay, Pepper asked me a question. Have you seen the metronome that is a wristwatch? Yes, I've seen those, yeah, yeah. I really prefer my metronome to be like here, uh, but it probably not a horrible idea to have that, if that really helps you. 
Um, but again, the thing I'm sure you can get an app on your if you have an Apple Watch, you can probably get a metronome app that will do that will actually tap your because I know you get a a tap when um, you get like email or something like that, right? Anybody have an Apple Watch? Uh, you probably there's probably a metronome that that actually can utilize that feature of the iPhone. So. Okay, now just for context, so I'm trying to figure out a good chord to go to. Uh, like I like I said, I'm the G. I like on the on the bar chord. I can get. But it's. I'm just trying to keep it easier with the open chords. Now, if I did the same thing, so I'm basically playing the. Uh, oops, the C7 chord. If I did the same thing. Um, C7. We did the same thing with the G chord that we did. We created the G6. We got this, which is a really cool chord. That's G7 slash six, not over six, just slash six. King Kahlo. So that would be like. Now I am kind of muting with my right hand a little bit because I got so many open strings. See with a C7 chord, every one of these notes is fretted. So I can mute them by lifting the strings off the frets. But if I have open strings, I'm either gonna have to mute with something on my, a free finger on my left hand, like my index finger or with my right hand. It is very Americana. That's right, Roman. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm playing the bottom string, and then I'm jumping down to the fourth string and grabbing the fourth, the third, and the second string and grabbing them. So just practice that. And you can even practice muting by hitting the bass note and then grabbing, like doing that, and then putting your hands back on the strings. And I'm putting them right where they go. And then just practice that. Now we can move the move the bass note to from G to B on the fifth string. Hard to talk and do this at the same time. Very little keeps me from talking. Okay, now I'm going to break it up. Now what I'm doing is when I'm going down to the fifth string, I'm going fifth string, third string, fourth string, second string. So thumb, first, thumb, second. And that alone is a great little exercise right there. Boom. You can do it with open string. You don't need to worry about the chord. The chord I'm doing is this, Just if you're just now joining, is this. It's just weird, like third fret, second fret, third fret, open, open, open. It's a beautiful, kind of almost like a G13. Like, but there's no ninth in here. If I did this, it would have a ninth. That would be a cool chord. I could. That that would be this. This would I would call a, a G thirteen. It's usually G 13s have a ninth in there. Don't worry. No quiz on this at the end of the week. Don't stress. Okay. Uh, so you want me to do the pattern again? Oh the oh the exercise. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going thumb third string with the first finger, thumb on the fourth string, and second finger on the second string. So it's like this. Thumb first, thumb second. And these are the middle four strings. So 
bottom. Fifth, second, or sorry, fifth, third, fourth, second, fifth, third, fourth, second. And number the C. Now we don't need to do the bouncing thing. So if you want to just stay on the middle four strings, you can do this. And the great thing about this chord is it's movable. So it can, even this part is movable too. So if you want. But that written out in, oops, wrong, and I'll stand over there. That written out in uh, tab and music notation is this part. Boom, da, boom, ba, do, da, boom. So if you want to do a screenshot of that, go for it. And then I'll write out the G one below that, okay? I probably should just use like a regular pen or a pencil because that pen is a little too fat. I'm going to turn this off to try to save the battery. We're good, but um, let's see. Okay. So the next chord that I did was um, three, two, three, zero, zero, zero was like a, so just, let's see, uh, F, B, G, and then G, B, and E. So it was, I call this one a G7 with a sixth added when I wrote quarter notes, but anyway, okay. So it's this, boom. Dent, boom, dent. Gary, I'm about to criticize my penmanship. Gary thinks that should be a sip. I don't think so. That's a judgment call. Um, so I can put stems down on all these, uh, but let me get the, so we got three, three, two, three, 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 two, three. So here's just the bass part, if you wanna see that. So, and again, <clears throat> let me just, uh, and get. I apologize, because this, this staff isn't as big as this was. See, <laughs> look how big that is. It's so nice. And then I got this little teeny one. But what I want you to see is um, there are only, Six, it's a six note chord. This is that one that's the three, two, three, zero, zero, zero. Okay. It's, and uh, so here, you, I don't know if you can see that three, two, three. You'll be able to see it better probably in the scan. Um, here's the bottom. There's a sixth string. There's the fifth string. There's the fourth string. That's the, that G right there is the third string. The, that B is the second string. And that E is the, is the uh, top string. Um, and right now we're only playing the bottom three strings with the thumb. Boom, da, boom, da. This is all thumb. And so what I do to one of the ways you notate that it's thumb on guitar is you put the stem down and that helps generally means the thumb, not always, but generally. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a rest here over these. Um, these are these things that look like threes are quarter note rests. So nothing's happening on top. Just the bass note, boom. And then here, we're gonna be moving the thumb down and we've got a different bass note and then we're gonna play a chord. And the chord on that is just the open G and the open B. So it looks like that. All right, it'll be easier for you to see on the guitar when I start playing it. Well, we were just doing it, so I'm just writing it out for you. All right, and then we're gonna do, the second bar is gonna be the same thing, um, but then I'm gonna break up so it's going to be G and B. And now, sorry, I got to write out the tab. Okay. Very, all very, so, so very exciting to watch me writing music. Should do this in prep, but nah. <laughs> okay. If I get the light back on here, this thing that kind of helps. No, that really doesn't help. Kind of helps. Um, anyway, the camera's trying to see that. I will scan this. 
Uh, in fact, I'll scan it right now. Uh, I'll put I'll put up the. Uh, let's see. No, I got to catch up on the scanning. I got these four that I haven't. Is it four I haven't done? Uh, no, three I haven't done for the Discord. So let me put up a link to the Discord. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Tom is the best. Whatever, <laughs> guys. You guys are the best. Uh, you know, I, I tell you this all the time. I'm not doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for me. Because <laughs> because if I didn't have you, I'd just be standing here. I'd just be sitting here talking to <laughs> to my monitor. And I'm like, that's. I would do that probably anyway. But uh, they say talking to yourself is a sign of intelligence. That's why I can't. I never talk to myself. I have to talk to people. Uh, Peter, did Peter ask a question? Help! I'm drowning. But loving to swim. Okay, that's totally fine, Peter. Don't worry about this. See, again, this is not critical. This is, there are so many ways to learn. And uh, some people like the music. Some people like the tab. Some people like watching. Um, I'm going to do it slowly. You can go back and watch that segment of the video. Um, and then, um, uh, uh, but uh, like I said, I'm going to scan this. In fact, while I am talking, I'll go back and catch up on some of the scanning. Um, here and post these in the Discord. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try not to fall out of my chair. I'm going to go ahead and post the Discord link right now. And that way you can go there. And Kathy, did you answer my question? I, there's such a lag on this. I, I probably, I may have missed the question. Is there a way to, I'm going to upload right to that. Okay. So I'm going to go to the Discord site and get a um, Discord. All right, so here, okay. So the page that says homework, hashtag homework, is that right? No, Tom's bookmarks. That was the one where I think I saw, okay. All right, now, okay, I think that's right. Okay, so if I, okay, Kathy, you answered my question. Yes, if you post them in the bookmarks, I'll just need to pin them, okay. You still need to do work, though. See, I don't want to make you do work. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing the work. Okay. So, um, so here, oh, shoot. Here's the, <laughs> I got to get the, I got to get the invite. Here's the invite for the Discord. So the Discord is just some place where we can post pictures and they talk. A lot of times everybody here uh, will be talking beforehand, which is really pathetic. <laughs> and then afterwards, and it's all about me. They're just talking about me. So if you really love this subject matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Keith, you're in the UK too. That's awesome. I actually doing, I am doing a, a, uh, a, uh, sorry, a, uh, a Skype lesson with someone in the UK at 10 o'clock their time. So it's three, two o'clock my time. <laughs> okay. So there's the Discord link. Um, and then now I'm going here. I'm going to exit. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to save. I think, oh, it'll go, go into the, oh, dang it. Browse. Live stream. So the last one was 12. Okay. Okay. Let me change the name here. Uh, finger picking number, finger picking 12, 13. 13. 13. Okay. Say now I have to delete this. Um, all right, and then I want to scan the next one. So what I just scanned, and it'll be number thirteen, is this. Okay, and this was from a couple days ago. Here's the C chord, bass chord, bass chord, dun, dun, three and four, one, two, three and four. So this is what it looks like in music notation. Um, and again, down here, boom. Dun, boom, da, boom, boom, da, boom, ba, da, in, on the G7 chord. And really, we're not even playing the top two strings on this one. And we're not playing the top string on this one. Um, or the, I'm sorry, we're not playing the top two strings on this one. Today, we added that. So now, instead of playing pinching between the thumb and the first finger, we're pinching thumb first and third. So we're getting a little bit fatter chord here on two and four. Um, and that's what, that's what this was. And again, I'll scan this up. It's, it's just coming up. I have to do it in order. I mean, I don't have to do it in order. Um, okay, so and then here was the other G7. This was the bar chord G7. I should probably write that on there, huh? Uh, 
uh, let me a little chord diagram for those playing along at home. I'm always quoting David Letterman. David Letterman's from Indianapolis too. In fact, <laughs> I have a very short David Letterman story, Diane. Um, so this will be number 14. Scanner, scan away. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> such great television here. Okay, uh, so Diane, my short <laughs> Letterman story is David Letterman worked as a box boy at Atlas Supermarket in Indianapolis, and uh, my mom knew his mom, and they went to church together. And um, and she um, anyway, David, my mom apparently left her wallet at Atlas and David Letterman called her. And then I guess she either went over there, and picked it up. I don't remember. This would have been like I would have been. 10 years old or 12 years old, something like that. So, no, it's not story time. I don't know. That's, this is, that's not a long enough story to be story time. Okay. So, exit. I'm going to flip this. i got to name it. Uh, save as PDF. Number 14. Right. Right. Okay. I'm almost done. So, this won't take but a second. Okay. I hate that it, when you tell it to do something, it asks you, are you sure you want to do that? I'm like, yes. That's why I hit the button to do that. <laughs> and then there are times where you wish... I wish there was a button that asked me if I was sure that I wanted to do that. Okay, so this was, what was this? Oh, this was the dust in the wind pattern. Okay, so this is dust in the wind. I'm going to write that down here. Dust. I'm just going to write dust. I don't want to get trouble here. So, Kathy, did you hear me say about that? I think that, I think the advertising is limited just for the first 24 hours until they can kind of do their thing, whatever they're going to do. So I don't, I don't think, um, yes, these individual PDFs will be at the discord in just a few minutes and a couple minutes <laughs> An undo button on some of that. stuff. you're right. Dale, hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, it's funny now. I, I don't know how many, how many of you actually are reading a book and you look up at the corner to see what time it is. <laughs> you ever do that? I'm like, oh my gosh, I catch myself doing that all the time. Yep. So I'm gonna I'll post a link again. Okay, so I got this one done. And then um uh save as PDF. I'm gonna put 15, but I'll put dust on here too. So if you wanna you don't have to go hunting for it and know that it's 15. Okay, I haven't now I haven't uploaded yet. Sorry. I'm just I'm saving these files, so that's what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to create compelling t television here. <laughs> so bear with me. I do notice, though, I, we're watching, uh, Kathy, we watched another episode of The Bureau. It's really good. It's a very good show. I don't know. Uh, it's a French show, and it's kind of a, it's kind of like a CIA show. It's very inside baseball. It feels that way. I'm sure if you were actually a CIA, oops, no, it's not wrong. Here. A CIA agent or something like that you would probably be like, yeah, this isn't, this isn't at all like it is what it is, but it is very um, uh, kind of, uh, here we go. Um, it's very detailed and um, uh, very, it's just, it's really fascinating. It's called, uh, yeah, you'll check it. It's in French. So you should be able to understand it. I mean, I'm, and that's the problem. I can't play Madden on my phone. <laughs> While I watch it, you know, I have to actually pay attention or I have no idea what's going on. Okay, this is the last one. And uh, this is with the tab. Um, so I'm going to write, okay, I may actually write with, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write with tab on here. Save as PDF, 16, tab, no, tab, all caps, I guess. I see tab written, all caps. Okay, I, you know, and I'm not opposed to tab. Um, particularly if you're doing rock guitar, if that's your only interest in tab, you're going to find everything you need in tab. Okay. Um, okay. Now I'm going to the discord. Uh, here's the link one more time. I'll, I'll post that again in a second. I'm going to add, uh, let's see, I'm in the Tom's bookmarks. I think that's where it goes. So I'm going to post it there, Kathy. Um, here's four, four PDFs being uploaded right now. And, um, you can, 
Um, here's the invite for anyone. Anyone's welcome. Be kind. Don't be snarky. Hey, Helen, another UKer. Like I said, I'm doing a, uh, um, I'm doing a, uh, what should we call it? A, a Skype lesson later today. I don't normally, in fact, I haven't done it a Skype lesson ever. I don't think so. We'll see how it works. Uh, but uh, it's a student of mine that lives in used to live here in LA, and now he lives in um, he lives in London, actually in England. I'm not sure where he is right now. He's either in London or he's just outside. Um, and then um, uh, he wants to learn ETA, the Beaver song, because he wants to perform it. So um, that's I'm fine with all of that. <laughs> so I, if he does a recording of it. Uh, you know, then we make money if he does, puts it up on his Instagram or IG. I mean, I think he's got a couple million followers on Instagram. This kid, um, and he's super sweet kid, super nice kid. Okay, um, yeah, and um, anyway, let's see. Yeah, we got a dude from Belgium. We've got people from Holland here, uh, India, DK. We got – it's so fun. Okay, so I'm going to um, – I think it's easier to – so I'm switching guitars so everybody can take a drink. It's one of the rules of our drinking game. And I did refer to myself in the third person. You caught that earlier, but that was a long time ago, right? Now I have to get the light back on, though. Okay, so caught up on all of these. These have all been uploaded. I've got such a mess of papers now from all this stuff. Um, okay, I need the light, and I think doing it here was the best. Boop. I changed it. So, so basically, today, what I want to do oh, the other thing I want to do today was um, the, the uh, dust in the wind. Practice doing it, I'm not going to play the song, but. Move all four, all three fingers down, the thumb and the two fingers down to the top four strings and do D minor. So you'd be D minor would be X, X. So take yesterday's lesson just and play D minor. Okay. And so that's another thing to practice. It's a couple things. One thing you're practicing doing the pattern on a different set of strings. But the other thing you need to practice is changing. So you've got so much going on. Um, when the pattern is second nature, uh, when the pattern is second nature, it won't be a problem. It won't be a problem, but that will help. If you can change from C to D minor, okay, um, with your left hand, if that's no problem, then you, you can proceed here and practice. Because it takes a lot. Yeah, Helen, I did uh, the kind of the finger picking pattern. Very, very common pattern um, used on a lot of songs. Um, Paul McCartney kind of used it on a variation. He kind of did his own little brushy thing. It's very, very cool. Once I figured it out. I'd always taught it like that, but no problem, Dillip. But he kind of did his own little thing, which was really cool. Um, but dust in the wind. So once you get this pattern down, try moving C. And uh, uh, who was it? Uh, bu -bu 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 I can't remember who it was. It was... Uh, you said you did I Am a Leprechaun. Uh, I, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, who was it that said that? Not Bruce. Dang it. Anyway, I, you know who you are. <laughs> but you, oh, maybe it was Bob. Uh, Bob plays it like that. I am a leprechaun. And then the other way I taught it also, you could, sometimes I hear this, I live in Indiana. So both of those, versions are written on that uh, PDF that says dust on it. Um, yeah, it was Bob. Um, so, um, but then moving the figures down and then also with G, you're going to want to get like, 
you're either going to want to use these strings. I'm not sure. I'd have to listen to it again. But now you've really got to jump your thumb. You're getting your first finger with the first, uh, second string. I mean, sorry. <laughs> first string with the second finger. You know what I meant. And the bottom string. So that's your pinch. And then it's jumping all the way down to the third string. First finger. Hey, Pepe. Buenis. Buongiorno. Uh-oh. You have been on. Well, thank you, Wim. God bless you. That's like. You pay me three euros. That's like that's like five hundred dollars American, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, bonjour. I have been unwell these days. I'm going to say hello to everyone. Well, Beppe, we we are we're gonna. I'll lift you up in prayers later. Okay. I want you to be. I want you to be well. I know how hard Italy was hit, especially on a per capita thing. We're all going to the beach here in California. <laughs> they just don't care. It's like, yeah, I gotta go to the beach. Gotta get out of the house. Yes, five hundred. <laughs> <laughs> so this one like you know depending on the chord you're doing you may have to move your hand around uh you may have to have the fingers be in different places so it's really i mean seriously what i could do is maybe create an exercise where you do the pattern on the bottom four strings middle four strings top four strings middle four strings bottom four strings, and then like, that's actually a really good idea. Okay, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but here's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just doing all open strings. Okay, that's kind of cool. I just made up a, I just made up an exercise. So <clears throat> any four finger or any four, yeah, four note pattern, you can do this, four finger pattern. Or in our case, we're using the thumb twice and using the first second. See, remember, I used to teach Dust in the Wind. I'm going to change guitar so you can uh, uh, you can take a sip. Uh, I used to teach Dust in the Wind with a thumb and three fingers. And I didn't do the... Um, uh, I, I didn't do... It wasn't a Travis pattern. I was teaching it as... Um, I was teaching it as uh, just a regular finger picking pattern, kind of like a classical pattern. Um, so here's here's what I'm saying: is to take that take that dust dust in the wind pattern, okay, and play it on the bottom four strings, then on the middle four strings, then on the top four strings. Kathy, you messed up my you messed up my flow, <laughs> and then go back to the middle four strings. Oops. Now Vapo's messing up my flow. And then do it on the bottom four strings again. Okay. I just love making up exercises for something to work on. Um, and then bottom string, skip a string, and then three strings. So now you've got that possible voicing. And then bottom string, and then top three strings. And then... Then bring that back and go bottom and dun, dun, dun. does this make sense? These are the strings you're going to do the finger picking pattern on. And then maybe back to the bottom four. Oops. Okay. And then you go uh, the middle four again. You're almost done. And then you go the bottom and then the top three. Or I'm sorry, the fifth and the top three. And then you go back to the middle. Five, and you could do, and I'm putting zeros because you could do it with all open strings. You don't have to think about the left hand. If you're gonna do it with your left hand, it might be one that you would do with like an E chord or E minor. So you could go. So what I'm talking about is, uh, it's like. That's basically the exercise with an E minor chord. Oh, I didn't hit the last one. Wait a minute. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. That was the last one. Okay. Does that make sense? That way you have that way you have the pattern down no matter what voicing you're using. No matter what chord, if you're doing a chord, I'm switching guitars again. Take another sip, everyone. I gotta catch up. 
I still have most of my coffee left. Uh, but if you have a C chord that's here, if you have a G chord that you want to use the bottom string, top three strings. If you have a D chord, you've got the top four strings nailed. If you have an A minor chord, but you want the A string, the fifth string, and then the top three strings. Pinch, pinch for, ye oh, that very first one. Oh, let's see. Pinch, let's see. Pinch. Let's see, what are you writing there? Pinch, four, three, two. Not quite. So if we're doing the, talking about the C and you're talking if you're talking about strings and I think you are pinch, then it would be pinch four two five two four, okay? So you have the two and the four backwards. So pinch, what if that makes sense? It, it makes sense to me and Bob. <laughs> That's all that matters. Pinch four three five two four. Pinch. A pinch four, so that would be I am a leprechaun. Wait, I am a leprechaun. Yeah, and then if you want to do the Indiana, you would come back with the third string, so it would be pinch fourth string, third string, fifth string, second string. Uh, inches. <laughs> Vapo's like, what the heck are you guys talking about? <laughs> No, right? It's kind of fun. It's a pinch, four, three, five, three, four. Oh, I'm all turned around now. No, five, two. He's, these are referencing the middle four strings. Um, and by pinch, we're doing five and two. Yeah, pinch is five and two. Oh, no, that's, no, the five, three, two, that's a different one. It's be five and two. Yeah. Very cryptic. <laughs> the pinch is... Plucking the fifth string and the second string at the same time. We're talking about the dust in the wind pattern. Again, so hard to teach this over a live stream. And everybody's got a different way of learning, you know? It's like, well, I've never seen it written that way before. Well, I haven't either. So <laughs> that's just a new thing for Bob and me. Um, oh, hey, Gary. Where is Gary? Gary must be on Discord. So the one I was getting ready to write was pinch four, three, five, two, four, three. That would be the uh, two, four, three. That would be the, I live in, I, that's the Indiana one. I, I, you know, part of me is afraid to kind of get into that kind of different, weird, different notation. Do I mostly play with your uh, breast? Uh, uh, let's see, Wim is asking me, do I mostly play without resting my wrist on the bridge while finger picking towards extra support reference position? Um, or, or, or lean the pinky, maybe. Yes. Um, it, it, Bob, it, I mean, Wim, it totally, it totally um, depends. If I'm doing classical, I won't do that. If I'm playing a classical piece, and right now my brain's just not, you know, but like. <laughs> yeah, slip, everybody can take a sip. Then I won't. But if I'm doing like like Chet Atkins kind of thing. Part of the reason I anchor my fist, or my, my, the palm of my hand on the guitar is to have muting capabilities, to have my hand ready to mute strings. And also for your that exact point, which is kind of that extra support reference is kind of, you're right, the reference kind of thing where you're like, okay, if I'm, my hand is, if my palm is always here, then I know exactly where the strings are. Now that will change with guitars because this, this has a narrower, I mean, a wider, uh, string width, wider string width than my steel swing. Um, and so, but yeah, when I'm doing that kind of thing, and then when I'm playing electric, <laughs> there you go, take another sip, guys. Uh -huh. Cable got hot. Come on, get out of here. Uh. Tom has an accident on live TV. Um, if I, you know, I'm using like electric, then oftentimes I am resting my hand there too. And a lot of players will put their pinky. And again, that's more for sport. I like, you know, I, I wish I didn't learn this way, to be honest. I think if I were starting over again, like the bluegrass players, they don't rest their hand on top and they just, their fingers fly. And the same thing with the, the gypsy jazz guys that are so fast, they can pick so fast. 
they are not resting their hand. I, I'm not even their pinky generally. So the, the guy, you know, they're just like, mm-hmm, and they can find any string. It's like, I don't know how you do it. It's like picking a string out of thin air is what, you know, so that's why, yeah, definitely the reference is kind of, but a lot of players do it. So I don't feel like I'm, I'm alone in this, but it, it is, I t- tend to rest my hand here. And that's why I can't have gold hardware because it would get all corroded there. Any guitar that I had with gold hardware would be totally corroded there. But yeah, definitely I, um, I definitely rest my hand there. Now, when I'm playing rhythm, obviously I don't. But see, now I'm not trying to pick one string out of the air. I'm playing all of them. I don't have an electric guitar sound up. I do have an electric guitar sound up, but it's not. Oh, it's turning. Everything's turning off. guitar. Yeah, this is the this is the cheap squire that I uh yeah, that was, it's great. Yeah, I've got a lot of reverb on there. I had, This was for a sound for a thing. In fact, maybe it would sound good on this. has a question what does sip mean oh sip this is when you take a sip of a drink sip is when i i um i gotta turn off that amp it's hissing okay uh oh good okay mute that all right so um well david we've been talking about um a neuroscience the entire time. You just got back. We just finished. I just finished my dissertation, my my teaching on um, left brain versus right brain, and why 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 the left brain always thinks it's right and the right brain always thinks it's right. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. T- take a sip. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, you want the sipping rules for Beppe? Yes. Uh, Gary uh, Gary posted them. Um, I have some of them. I haven't updated this. Uh, but here, this is, I think I'm missing one. Touch face, change guitars, forget tuning, third person, air quotes, band in high school called playing Apex Legend. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, no. But so that's all of them that are official. We, we have some unofficial ones. If I forget to wear pants, you guys can take a drink. <laughs> if I forget to wear pants, <laughs> uh, you're going to need a drink. Um, let's see. And yeah, well, let's see. I, I got to, let's see. I could tell a joke. Let's see. Um, I remembered a joke. Yes. Okay. I got a joke for you. <laughs> now, all the Europeans are not going to get this, I don't think. We'll see. So, Vapo, I, where are you from, Vapo? Uh, let's see. I know, uh, DK, you're from India. I don't know if you'll get this or not. But anyway, 
what goes clippity clop, clippity clop, bang bang, clippity clop, clippity clop. An Amish drive by shooting. Okay, now I gotta wait for the laughter. <laughs> it's like the worst comedy club in the world. See, I think there's probably got to be some kind of rules. <laughs> oh, Dilip got it. Dilip, where are you? Amish drive-by shooting. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, bang, bang. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop. <laughs> you guys, you know you're going to be horsies. You know, you know you're going to be telling that one. Uh, let's see. There's all sorts of musician jokes, too. Um. Let's see. Uh, you know, the problem is with musician jokes, everybody tries to tell me when I've heard of most of them. Um. <laughs> Pull, pulls on your horse like a drawn horse-drawn carriage, like a gangsta. <laughs> exactly. Squirrel. Uh, let's see. Musician jokes. Um. Let's see. How do you uh, how do you get the guitar player to turn down? Put music in front of them. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, you're lost in the desert, and you come to a three part fork in the road, um, and uh, or just a fork in the road. <laughs> it's irrelevant if it's two or three. Sorry. <laughs> And at the fork, there's a, a good accordion player, a bad accordion player, and a pink bunny. Who do you ask for directions and why? Ah, uh, <laughs> there's, yeah, there is a Newton. Okay. Uh, Vapo's got a good joke. Wait, where's the punchline? Okay, so the punchline on that one is you ask the bad accordion player because the other two are figments of your imagination. Which fish has perfect pitch? Oh, tuna, <laughs> right? No, not the pink bunny. Uh, let's see, okay, I'll tell you another one. Um, <laughs> the accordion player goes to the bank and then he gets to the bank and there's a long line for the teller and he waits in line, he's 20 minute line. He finally is next in line and he realizes he left his car unlocked with the accordion in the back seat. He runs, he runs, he just leaves the bank. He runs into the parking lot and goes to his car. And there in his back seat, two accordions. <laughs> Tuna fish. <laughs> the pink bunny has helped Vapo in the past. So anyway, the, the accordion player joke is the... Uh, you know, and you, I'm sure every profession has a, you know, <laughs> the civil engineer goes to, the, you know, kind of thing. My son always makes fun of civil engineers. I'm like, don't make fun of civil engineers. Uh, but that's just, the, it's just the nature of uh, any profession. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. Yeah, that's the name of a, a RO Speedwagon album. <laughs> yeah, you've translated everything. Now I know one more thing. Sip. Sip. What is is sip short for something? What's the origin of the word sip? I'm really compelling TV here when I Google. When you watch me Google, but I'm seeing more more of that on like detective shows. Sip. Sip. Is there a definition? Session initiation initiation protocol. No, just, um. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm probably going to have the Department of Defense coming after me now because I shouldn't have been texting them. Uh, <clears throat> drink something. Okay, so here's the, or let's see, what's the origin? Origin, perhaps a modification of sup, as in supper. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. Riddle, five men are going into a church and it's pouring down raining. One of the men does not get wet. How is this possible? Oh, this is a riddle. Okay, right. I like riddles. Five men are going into church and it's pouring down raining. One of the men does not get wet. How is this possible? Uh, let's see. Yep, I got my Starbucks today. 
Oh, you got yours too? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, basically the joke is essentially on the accordion one is that like there's somebody trying to get rid of an accordion and they see accordion in the back seat and they're like, oh, this is where you put used accordions, I guess is the premise. Uh, let's see, he's a dwarf. No, uh, five men are going into a church and it's pouring down raining. One of the men does not get wet. Five men are going to church and it's pouring down. Oof. Okay, Kathy's going to be right back. Bob wants the answer. <laughs> Pastor at my church told this joke one time, though. Go ahead, Pepper. Give us the answer. Yeah, we're waiting for the answer. Why do the pianist keep banging his head against the keys? Answer. Oh, he was on a casket. Oh, clever, clever, right? He was in the casket. Yes. You know, I knew, we knew what you meant. <laughs> so <laughs> there was this, this uh, a Christian fellow who, who got marooned on a, an, a desert island all by himself. And he's there for 20 years. And finally, he's rescued. And as they're sailing away, the, the captain of the ship is talking to the, to the, uh, the man who was uh, marooned. And he says, oh, I see three structures there. What are those three structures? And he goes, well, <laughs> shoot, I wish I could remember the punchline. It's like, that one's my house. That one's my church. And then the second one, or that third one is my other church when I didn't like the theology taught at the first church or something like that. Uh, so stupid because people, you know, like, oh, I don't like the pastor, so I'm leaving the church. And, uh, you know, that's fine. You it's free country, but it's just funny because it's something like that. It's so, something stupid where he actually built two churches, even though he was all by himself. Um, in a canoe is two dads and two sons. How many people are in the canoe? Hmm. This may be similar to one that I had told. Um in a canoe is two dads and two sons. How many people are in the canoe? How many people? Two dads and two sons. I mean, the natural. Two dads. Well, that's true. But it could be four. <laughs> you could say, yeah. But yeah, I'm. If I'm a dad, I'm also a son. I'm always, always be a son. You don't necessarily not gonna necessarily. <laughs> Bapo's gonna pass. Everybody's saying two. Well, no, I got three. So people are taking chances with the three here. I have a similar one. You read okay. Oh, Dennis is right. What did Dennis say? Dennis is right. Well, well, how how do you get to that answer? Son, dad, and grand. Oh, son, dad, and grand dad. That's right. Okay, here's one. This one may not work anymore, but let me try it. Uh, there's a father and a son in a car, and they have an accident, and the father dies, and the son goes to the hospital, and the doctor there says, I can't operate on him. He's my son. Why can't the doctor operate on the boy? This is like Lord, uh, Lord of the Rings, right? Or uh, The Hobbit, when they have the riddles in The Hobbit. Yes. Yep. David, you're right. Yep. Now, see, that don't work anymore because there are a lot. But back 20 years ago, when you would say that one, people would be like, uh, the father was a priest. <laughs> it's like, nope. You know, it's just like everybody assumed the doctor was a man. But that doesn't, yep, yep. 100%, you guys got it. Someone's, oh wait, Jeff got what? Peter, oh, Peter asked one. What does a tornado in Oklahoma and a divorce in Vermont have in common? Someone's going to lose a mobile home. <laughs> so Jeff, you've heard that one before. <laughs> uh. 
how many books can you how many books can you put in an empty bag? How many books can you put in an empty bag? See, I, this is just all designed to make me look like an idiot because I'm not getting any of these. And I'm, it's almost like I'm too smart for it or something like that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it is true. I do have, uh, we have games that we play. And uh, what's the one? Um, and my uncle who was, a, I have an uncle who was a federal appellate court judge, like one below the Supreme Court. And he could not figure out this game we were doing. And everybody, we had like, there were 20 of us in the family. It was like a big family reunion. And <laughs> Pepper's apologizing. Okay, so uh, did did uh, did Ab give the answer yet? Oh, Rick got, yeah, got it right. Oh, how many books can you put in an empty bag? Well, it wouldn't be empty if you put any books in it. Oh, only one. It isn't empty after that. Very good. Clever. Clever. So it's so this my new live stream is going to be just me watching, guessing wrong on on, on riddles. Uh, what's the you know, the one about the um, let's see, there's a there's a, a a room. It's locked, sealed. No one's been in or out. Um, there's water and broken glass on the floor. And a body. What happened? And that one's more like, it's like you ask a lot of questions and you figure it out. But you guys, told, that's an old one. You probably know that one. Two guys stranded on a beach. They want to bury the rest of their belongings in a hole. A couple sitting on a couch. She has a smelling from her feet. This smelling from her mouth. I got to tell you, so, oh no. <laughs> this could go left. They could go south really fast. Uh Oh, in, in the midst, in the midst of all this, John Howard's like, "Hey, Tom, great videos." <laughs> and I'm just like, "Okay, what?" Um, I wonder. Yeah, that exercise though, I do. I kind of like that. I may, I may, I may post that. Basically, all it is is all the possible variations you could have of a four-string pattern um, on right hand. Um, oh, that exercise post it. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to I'll try to figure out a way to teach it and make it make sense. Um, I may have to put do some tab or something like that so that you could see it. Um, and I could do it with a chord. I might have it just be an E minor chord. That way, it makes a little bit a little bit more musical sense. Um, Uh, Vapo, what fingerings of what I just, this thing, the fingering, that is the dust in the wind pattern. That is this pattern. Um, and this, the way it's played there is on the, um, and I can write out tab. Um, okay. Here's what I can do on that. Uh, give me a second. I can write this out in tab and then, uh, the exercise using, you know what? I really want to change to a, um, anyway, so it's going to, I'm going to use thumb one and two, because that's the pattern is the pattern is using your thumb on two strings and your first finger on this string and second finger. So this would be the pattern thumb and second finger. Um, boom. Do, da, boom. Da, da. Um, rhythmically it's boom. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, so there's there's the thumb and second finger on the fifth, uh, sixth string and the third string. Then thumb, first, thumb, second, first. Um, and those are the bottom four strings. And then all I'm going to do is then take that same pattern and put it on the middle four strings. So it'll look like this. Helen, this is kind of what you're asking for, but I'll probably do this like much better looking. Um, and I'll use finale to do it or something. And then go to the top four strings and do the same thing. I'm assuming 
Fapa, this is what you wanted me to write down. <laughs> Fapa was like, not that. Tommy, you started something that you want, that you got to finish. Uh, you can just use E minor chord. Um, um, second, first. So something like this. I got to keep an eye on the clock. Oh, my. Dang it. My. I don't know why my hard drive keeps. It won't save. Cancel. Uh, my hard drive keeps ejecting. Oh, I'm going to lose sound. Do I have. Do, oh, I still have sound, right? You can hear me still, right? So basically what I did was I wrote the pattern out, bottom four strings, then the pattern, middle four strings, and do the pattern on the top four strings and go back to the middle four strings. And that's all the possible combinations there on it, like a six string. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm losing, I'm not getting all the uh, answers to these uh, quizzes here. Let me, thank you. Um, what was it? Okay, two guys stranded on the beach, Dennis. How long does it take for one guy to dig half a hole? <laughs> uh, let's see. I know you ate my socks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tom guesses wrong. Well, that's a given. Hey, Jeff Hook. Uh, let's see. Uh, Leo's here. I didn't see Leo before. Please change the world. If I could change the world, oh, you want me to teach that? Um, uh, there's so many great lessons of that. You could totally, you don't, you, people teach that. There's a, probably a thousand lessons on that on YouTube. Uh, what's the answer, Dennis? Uh, you can, you can't dig half a hole. It's a hole, a hole is a hole no matter how deep. That's true. <laughs> and I'm digging a hole right now <laughs> here on, right live on YouTube. <laughs> Okay, so th anyway, that's kind of the thinking, my thinking is, and then what you would do is you would start on this, the middle four, like this, the middle four strings, and then you'd move your two, you play the, you know, separate the thumb from, the, anyway. <sighs> Just do, oh, no, then you go to the bottom, and then do, that's the hard one, actually, uh, where you would do this. Okay, I will write this out. Here's my pen. With the right pen. Um, so I'm writing this out. So I'm, I'm doing, so you can see what I'm doing. So thumb, same one here, two. So there's the pinch, thumb, one, thumb, two, one. And then now we're going to actually do, leave the thumb on, on the bottom string, but then we're going to move the other stuff up a string. So like if we we're playing a G chord, we want to play it like this, G, like that what's the pattern for that? Well, then that would be this one. And that way you would have all of these practiced and no chord would catch you off guard. That's the idea. So you can, you have the pattern down so well in every possible, yeah, and every possible, why do I feel like this is wrong? It is wrong. I wrote this wrong. All of these are wrong. Oh my gosh. It's thumb. Okay, people. If you're taking notes, if you took a screenshot, delete that. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to do this more properly. <laughs> just wasted. How much hard drive space at, at Google did you just, did I just waste? <laughs> I can't, my brain. It's, I'm tired. I'm tired. Uh, all right. Based on four. Yeah. So, um, but basically my thinking was to take, I need that light. Take that pattern, the dust in the wind pattern and play it on every string combination. Bottom four, middle four, or top four, middle four, bottom four. Now separate them, then even further. So the thumb's really having to do a lot of work. And then bring it back together again. Then middle four, separate, and then middle four again, and then that's it. That would be the that would be the exercise. So. Um,
was it uh A descending D scale or D. I don't know if it's in D, but it's descending. Okay, Dave. All right. So let's see. It's oh gosh, it's already getting late. Now remember. Uh, so today is Sunday. Tomorrow Monday. Tuesday, I either will not. I may come on for like five minutes to say hello, goodbye, kind of thing, just so there's a marker there, so people don't go, "Hey, I thought you were teaching today." Um, so what I will do is, uh, but I may take Tuesday off just because I I don't know how long it's going to take to film two services and if it takes six or seven hours i just don't want to be there. i don't want to be too exhausted going there yeah slow hand that's right babyface babyface wrote that song with him i think it was the two of them wrote that babyface went to my high school i didn't know him then but um my sister i think did i think my older sister went to school he was like a year behind my sister or something so uh okay tuesday is supermarket day for you david so that works out uh that's why i'm not i'm taking tuesday off now <laughs> Because David's not going to be here. <laughs> David, you're such an ego meaning. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, no worries, Dilla. Thank you so much for watching. We got 40. This is day 40 in a row. So you can go back. If somebody wants to say, hey, the lesson starts here. <laughs> Who did that? Who Somebody did that. And I, uh, I can't remember. And I, I will always pin that because it's not an insult to me that <laughs> Tom's talking for 22 minutes before he starts a lesson. I'm waiting for people to show up and and I'm just having fun with you and saying hello. And then I get sidetracked. So um, technically, we didn't get a story, Diane. But um, see, if you don't know the difference, I don't want you to take my temperature. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Post a link to the services one. Uh, oh, when they're up, uh, when they're uploaded. Yeah, it's uh, let's see. Um. The, uh, let's see, the live, is what is that? I'll just, I can post it now and you can copy and watch it. Because what will happen is they'll post it and you can, uh, you can go to Facebook, I think. Uh, was it Facebook, YouTube? I think you can watch any of the services here. Let me find it. Oh, it says 93 videos. Uh, videos. Six days ago, five hours ago. Yeah, so now I'm not on some of these. My son subs for me. Um, so here's here's a list of their channels here. Or their, um, so Vapo, there you go. If you want to go look at some of the old uh, videos. Um, we kind of when we did we filmed um, the recent ones. We kind of went with four piece band. Normally we'll have six, five or six. Um, it's Pee Wee and Michiko Hill um, on bass and keyboards. Walter Rodriguez on drums. Who sometimes we still Walter over here. Uh, me on guitar and sometimes my son on guitar. Sometimes other guitarists. Um, and then um, uh, Sheila Gonzalez on keys and saxophone. And uh, her tours all got canceled. So. Hopefully we we can get back to it. I actually I don't know the date for sure yet, so we, we're we're not sure when everybody can get back. But we're gonna, as a church, we're gonna push it. So if they say you can start getting together, you know, June first, we're not gonna get together on June first. We'll wait. Uh, we want to make sure everybody's safe. That's priority for us. Uh, 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 let's see. Vapo. Uh, is he good, Rick? Uh, my stepdad loves to remind me that he's practiced 1,750 days without a break. Wow. Yeah, I probably, I mean, what's 20 years without a break? I literally practiced every day. Um, and I had an eight-hour-a-day routine that I did from the age of 15 to the age of 35. And I even took my guitar on vacations. I mean, there were many travel days where I probably couldn't do eight hours. But I'd sit in the back seat practicing guitar. Um no, it's all right. We're getting ready to finish, Pepe. No worries. God bless you. You take care of yourself, okay? We'll be praying for you. We do not want you to get sick, like really sick. January 21st. See, 
I knew that, David. It was the same thing in California. They're tracing them back to way back when. So yeah, it's not. This is and the who and the who. <laughs> we say the who. Who came, the world uh, World Health Organization came out yesterday and said you can get it again. Well then, okay then. What are we doing? If we can get it again, there's nothing. There's no point in doing any of the trap. You know, let's just keep working to find a cure. Let's keep working to, uh, you know, figure out a way to deal with. It. Well, they've and like I said, they found they think that like 440,000 people in California have had it and nobody had symptoms. So I think, and I, my speculation is that 80% can't even get, get, won't even have the antibodies because they can't even get it. Um, but I may be wrong on that because they said they're already up to 20% in Sweden that have an, the antibodies. Uh, but that would line up with my 80%. But um, you know, anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll look back on this and either go, it was a way, way overreaction or we didn't react enough. But I mean, they could be putting cameras in every hospital room of somebody who's dying of cancer and freaking us all out just as much. <laughs> so, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can go to the discord. Yeah. And also um, here's the link to that. Again, one more time. And then I'm going to sign off, invite people, copy, paste. All right, there it is yourself a bloody mary there you go my sisters and my mom would have them on christmas morning i thought that was inappropriate 50 years is 7300 days of practice oh so he, yeah that was then 1700 days of practice is a lot all right i'll see you guys later god bless you thanks thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow